Morning folks, um, Brooks here, jolly boys, back again at Mostyn for part two, uh, just cast out my first, my first cast, see, right. it's all set up, ready to go, um, it's a bit cold this morning, so I've had to put my big coat on, but that sun's come out now, it shouldn't take long, it's soon warm up. And I'll be able to take, I'll be able to take me uh, big jacket off, hopefully, and just get on with a for a couple of hours. I'm only having a couple of hours this morning, so it's Mother's Day. If I don't get back to her, I'm a dead man. So we're gonna have a couple of hours, see what happens, see if we can pull pull a place out. We'll try and you know see what happens. It's lovely out here today. I'm back on the same mark. Uh, I'll give it an hour, an hour and a half, see what happens, because I'm fishing the down tide and I don't like fishing the air here. I've never fished the air here, so I don't know how good it's going to be. We'll soon see. It drops fast here too. It's dropped off about a metre now since I've been here and I've only been here 10 minutes, quarter of an hour. So we'll leave it. We'll leave it for a bit and we'll, we'll try, see what happens. If no joy here, I've got another mark in mind. Um, we'll wait and see first, see what happens. If I have a fish here, I'll be happy. If I don't, there's not a lot I can do about it, to be honest. Uh, I can only come out and try. Uh, I'll get back to you if we have anything. In a bit, folks. Well, folks, you know when you know, it's just not going to do it here on the day. It's just not going to do it here on the day. It's just not. Just know it, don't you? You know? Uh, bait's been out. Well, 35 minutes. Not a touch. Not even the crabs had a pull at it. So, I'm going to go to another mark. I'm going to move down to Mostyn, I think. Uh, to, not Mostyn, to um, Dock Road. I'm going to move down there. I'm going to go on a bit of a flounder bash. I've had a big place. I was happy with that yesterday. So, unfortunately, folks, that's how it how it is. The fishing's not that great, to be honest. Not here. We were here for five hours yesterday for three fish. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it was hard work. That was hard work. And to be honest, I'm not going through that again. I'm just not like... I want to go and have a bit of fun, so I'm going to head down to Dock Road and I'm going to have a bit of fun down there. And uh, I'll see you when I get down there. Uh, I'll set up, I'll start fishing uh, and I'll let you know as soon as I get a fish I'll bring you back. In a bit folks. Right folks, I've called in a day at Mostyn. I'll have to do part two. When the fish fishing picks up a bit I'll definitely do part two and show you what else you can catch here. Not a lot I can do about this. I've been here, well, an hour. Yeah, two bait, I've had two baits out in that hour. Both come back untouched. So, I've never fished a heavy tide here. I've always fished a flooding. So, I wasn't, uh, I come and tried, but I wasn't confident and I'd rather go now. So I'm making a move. I'm gonna go and move to Dock Road now. Uh, I'm going to have a flounder bash instead so that'll be the video that'll be coming up today hopefully uh, we'll have to wait and see I'm filming but we'll have to wait and see what I catch if I catch so until then until I get there and I've set up and started fishing uh, I'll let you go for now and I'll see you when I get to Dock Road in a bit folks right folks we're here we started first cast out it's lovely here today so unfortunately like I said I was hoping to do the second part of the the uh, place but that's not going to be happening now until at least two weeks time so I've come to Dock Road for a few hours rather than waste the day and then I'll have to get home because if I don't get home I'll get shot it's Mother's Day so, 
there you go. Any road. This is an old fella. What's your name? Tom, is it? Tom, Tom yeah. You've had a few fish, Tom, today, haven't you? Four at the moment. Hang on a minute, Tom. Four flounders. There's yeah. Tom there. Yeah. Four flounder. He's had four flounder. So that's not too bad going. That gives me a bit of hope, you know what I mean? So we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. Um, I'm here today. I was supposed to do the second part of my place fishing. Yeah. But I don't like fishing the ebbing tide. And especially now I missed the, two, the three best spots on the corner. I thought, no, I'll come to Dock Road instead and I'll do a flounder day instead. So we'll take it from there. And then once I see somebody catching one, you'll be on film because I'll be filming you fetching it in. My, my mate had a bass there yesterday. Day Did he? Day, yeah. He had a bass there? Yeah. That's not bad then. Put so, it back, it's just a half an inch under size. Oh, <laughs> but back. at least it gives us a bit of hope, doesn't it? Yeah. Especially with me with a crab, hopefully, yeah. if they're about, we'll take. So we'll wait and see. Any road, I'll bring you back after, folks. Thanks very much. There you go, folks. I haven't blanked. And Tom's going to have him for his tea because he's got a bit damaged. So Tom's going to have him for his tea. But the main thing is, I ain't blanked. There you go, Tom. Thank you very much. There you go, mate. Go and have that for your tea. And thanks very much for the... Welcome. The, the log, mate. Thanks, you. There you go. That's the first one of the day. Let's see if we can catch a few more now. And there we are. The old man's just had one and all. So he's still fishing. Well, he's still fishing. I'm going to carry on. He's trying to get his uh, hook back. He's probably going for his tea anyway, because Tom enjoys flounder. For your tea, Tom. Hey. For your tea. tea. And there's Tom with his last last cast, that was it? Yeah, last cast. That was his last cast. How many have you had, Tom? Five. He's had five nice flying bit. Fair dues to him, like. Well done, mate. Well done. Taking it for your tea. Well, he's, he's hooked right He's deep, deep hooked. Yeah, you're better off. At least he's going to be eating. He's not going to be wasted. That's the main thing, isn't it? You know? So, I'll leave you get on, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. We're starting to fish now. That's the main thing. I've had one. Tom's had five. But he's been here since early. I've only just come. I've had one in the first half an hour. Whereas I wasn't even having to bite at. That's mustard. So, the best thing I did was come here. I've got the other rod to me left here. I'm setting it up, but... I got rudely interrupted by a fish, so there's nothing I could do about that one. Um, hopefully, I'll have a few more. I'm here till 12 o'clock, irrespective. I got up early to come and do this, so I want to catch a few fish. So we'll try, see what happens. And I'll bring you back on the next fish, hopefully. I'm having a bite on my one rod here. I don't know whether you can see that. I'll get up to it and let you have a look. They're having a bite. Something's knocking about. So I'll leave it for a minute. Let's see what happens. So it's gone again. Fishy, fishy, fishy. So they're here. They're still here. They're still fishing. But my knee's starting to play up now. So I may just call it a day. Like, uh, we'll wait and see. See what happens. you back if I have one. I think this fish is on. I'm going to have a look. See what happens. Yeah, I think we've got this one. They come up right in there. Ooh, this one. It's coming. He's got a bit of weight there now. Two fish. There you go, see? Had two. Two fish for moi. There you go. Now, this is how it's supposed to fish. If you just unhook, the top one's only whipped. He's only whipped up. So I can unhook this. Hey. 
there, yeah. Nice little flounder. There you go, that's the first one. He's gone. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I have some more. Hi, folks, back again. Biggest flounder. About a pound. Spency. You can see his ribs. Bless him. They've been uh, they've been spawning. So I'm going to carry on. See how many more I can get. Back in a bit. Well, that was a double header. That one. First time this 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 year I've had two together. I'm more than happy with that. That's my first double of the year. I've just chucked out and I'm having another bite already. So they look like they're switching on. So we'll leave it and see how it goes for now. But to fish this venue, really, you know, you want two hours before high. Um, fish your ribs. That's what I always do. I always fish the air, and the air always seems to fish well. It takes its time building up but uh, once they start to lose that bit of water they start to feed and they do feed like um, Mostyn just wasn't doing it this morning plus I'd had a hard day there yesterday and I thought I'm not having another gruel I just didn't want to go for another gruel my knees giving me jip after the rocks there yesterday it's going to take a few days to to get back so I'm gonna have another hour at you and then I'll get home and I'll put this little bit together put it on as a little bit of a bonus that's all um, I got messages coming from everywhere Trev's just messaged me now did you go yes Trevor went uh, Mostyn was shit so I wasn't having another gruel of mates I'd been through one so I'm at Dock Road. I've had three and a half an hour. So there you go. Um, I'm using crab. I'm using lug. Lug's the main bait by the looks of it. They're nailing it. As soon as it goes out there, they're roaming in. Buff gone. So I'll give it another time. Is it now? It's half past ten now. I'm going to give it till eleven o'clock, and then I'll put this little bit on for you just to see, just for you to watch. Um, I haven't blanked, that's the main thing. It was worth getting up for. If it was only to have a ride to Mostyn, have a look around. I was gutted, really. I, I didn't get up early enough. I should have got up a bit earlier. Got there a bit earlier. Caught the first, last couple of hours of the flood. But you learn these things as you go on. Even me now, I got 52 years, 55 years in the business fishing. And I'm still learning. And we all do. We all still learn. Um, I've had Steve Bonner uh, text me this morning asking about Mostyn. I'm give him a little bit of info. Uh, Will's text me to see if I went. He's still aching from yesterday. Never mind, Will. You'll get there, lad. Uh, when you haven't been... Oh, got a bike going on on the big rod. Hang on a minute. I don't know whether you can see this, folks, but it's there. It's rattling the rod. I could be breaking my duck on this rod. The white rod's going off. So, I'll bring you back in a bit, folks, okay? I'm going to check it. I'm going to check this rod now, folks, because it's been bouncing. See if there's anything on it. Let's have a look, see. It's been having a rattle. Number four. Number four for me. 
do exactly what he took the two oxy. See? Double up. Back in a minute, folks. I've got it on knock him. And then how come we show him you? Back in a minute. There we are, folks. Flounder number four. Not a bad one. He's not a bad one. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't think he wanted to be filmed. To be honest, I think he's seen his backside because he was being filmed. Henry Rudd, I'm going to put him back. Okay? I'm going to put him back. And he's gone. Off like lightning. <laughs> So that's another one. So that's four in just over three quarters of an hour. Uh, I'm going to carry on, like I said, for another half an hour or so. Got to retire hook. Uh, I had to put it back, pull it through the gill, bring it through the gill and cut it off. And I'll retire it now. Back in a bit. Well, folks, not bad. You know, considering yesterday we fished five hours, me and the lad, and we had three fish between two of us. And Will fished about the same, and they had two fish each, so they had four fish between them two in five hours fishing. I've come here to Dock Road, I've set up, and in three quarters of an hour I've had four fish. Same river, exactly the same river. No difference at all. And in fact, this is further down the river. Mostyn's more near the mouth of the river, where you think fishing would be better. But there you go. Goes to shore, doesn't it? But uh, I've had them on crab and I've had them on, on and I've had them on log. Uh, I think it was a very wise decision from me to, do, to kick it in the head at Mostyn. My knee's not 100%. You're on them rocks there and they kill your feet. They do, and we had a, a gruel yesterday, five hours. Will was feeling it, I felt it. My lad had had enough, <laughs> and uh, so did Stuart, you know. But I did say I was going to do a part two, but that'll come later on in the in the summer, around about end of May, June, maybe July, when the place fishing is at its best, and also the smooth hours, the bass, and a few other things move in. And I can show you exactly what Mostyn's all about. But Dock Road is a great back, drop back. It's a great second plan, if you like, when you as a, as a backup plan. You know, it's it's what it is. It's lovely to come here. It's peaceful. It's quiet. People walking around. Nobody bothers you. You got no dogs running after your bait or nothing. Nothing like that. Because people fair do to them. They keep the dogs on the lead. And all that. The only downside is this lad put this boat here. And it's going to be a work boat apparently. It's not going to be a work uh, out going out. It's going to be a workshop, floating workshop apparently. They've told him he can put it there, so there's nothing we can do about that one. So I'm fishing to the side of it now and bringing the bringing the the men this way, this way towards me, away from it. Let me show you. My rods are there. Right, and if you look down the railings, and if you look there, you can see the mast of the boat is where he is. So I've cast my rods that way, that way, and I'm bringing them in this way, away from his, his moorings, because I lost, hang on, I lost two sets of gear last time on them bloody moorings, and he'll only keep them. So he's not. He's not, I'm not giving him chance to do that again. I'm going. Like I said, I'm going to have till another half an hour. I've had me fun. I've done a video for you now, so I can put that up on YouTube. I've had me fun with that one. Um, I'm going to give another half an hour with these baits. Take it up and see what happens. But I'm happy. I'm happy. It was a good move by me. That was. It was a very good move by me. Sorry, this bloody sun's a nightmare at the moment. It was a very good move by me, I think. Sorry for repeating myself, but there you go. Uh, that's what I do. I'm, I'm, 
I get rather tongue tied now and again, but shit happens, doesn't it? Excuse the pump, excuse the French, but there you go. That's how I feel today because I'm gutted that I picked the wrong mark. I went to the corner, I should have gone to the tanks. But with me, neither way it was, I'm glad I never because I think I'd have struggled coming back. But there you go, and I was on my own. So I'd rather come and fish a bit more comfort, which is what I'm doing. And I've had fish. I've been out, I've enjoyed myself, I caught fish. Uh, fish in this place. The low tides are the best tides. High tides, it's no good to try and fish here on a high tide. If you're going to fish today on a high tide, you're better fishing it at Mostyn, and you're better fishing it on Warwick's Beach. Because you're all day. You can't, you can't, excuse me. That's two days fishing does to you. Yeah, you can't hold bottom uh, like you can on the small tides. You want to hold bottom with a 10 ounce lead, and mind them, the girls ain't going to half run through like it. But uh, there's good fishing there to be had. We'll be doing a few other spots on the day uh, in the coming months. We'll be doing Talaka, obviously, for the smooth ounce. Uh, there's talk there. Smooth down, you got dab, you got bass, you got place, you got flounder, you got everything there. But we go after two things there. We me 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 and the lads, we go for the smooth downs obviously and the bass. Three things. We go after the smooth downs, we go after the bass, and we're hoping to have a run on the top this year. I had one last year and I lost it. Uh, it went through my smooth down rig. I thought it was my smooth out rod going off, but it wasn't. It was it was my top rod. He, the top and rod straight through. Uh, and I was fishing with a bit of dab for bait. So, and uh, when I fished it in, the dab was smashed to bits. So the fish was on, and then it just spat the hook. And, well, can't win them all, I suppose. Any road, back to Dock Road. Um, let me just show Look at the view. Oh, that's the River Dean. That's the river D on a 24 foot tide. That's what we're fishing today, is a 24 foot tide. So she won't go out far. She'll lose a bit of depth, but she won't go out far. And these flounder, they're not taking the bait straight away. Um, you're, you're having to leave it in 10 minutes or so, and then the, the rods are going off. So hopefully, you'll have seen the rods going off on film. If not, there's nothing I can do about that. The brightness of the sun wasn't helping, to be honest. Like. But uh, this is Mostyn. And here, baits, like I've told you crab, squid, mackerel, and first and foremost, lugworm. Lugworm is deadly here. It's deadly. And if it's frozen, it's even better. It's better than fresh, to be honest. If you've got frozen lug, you'll nail a meal on it. Especially the flounder, the flounder. It's mainly flounder here. You do get the odd bass, you'll get suing, which is um, sea trout. Obviously, they take your bait, there's nothing you can do about that. You've got to put them back. If you're not licensed to keep them, you put them back. Simple as. Yeah, I'm filming, I am. Yeah, yeah. So it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Don't, don't panic. I'm just going to wrap up now and then I'll have a chat with you. Yeah, um, any road I'll bring you back in a bit if I have another fish. Back folks, sorry about that, it was one of the locals, you get them here, they always come and ask you how you're getting on, as you know, your fellow fishermen, you know, you get people, they always come and ask if you've caught anything or whatever, so I just stopped for a minute just to let them know that. So. Yeah, I've had four and three quarters of an hour. It's 10 to 11 now, I'm giving it till 11 o'clock. And then I'm going to call it a day. Uh, going to go home then and settle down. Wife's got to work. Mother's day and she's got to work, bless her. So I'm going to go home and settle down and watch some footy if there's any footy on. If not, I'll uh, watch a few YouTube channels. I enjoy my YouTube. I like John Locke. He's got a good one. Hakan, he does well. He's got a good site. You've got Adam Bond, another good site. You know, you got uh, UK Fish Hunter, 
Reese. He's all right. He's a good lad at Reese. I like watching Reese's programs. He he does a good job. Fair dues to him. Uh, so there's plenty of good channels out there um, that I'm going to enjoy and watch this afternoon. Well, I like smash fishing and all. That's another good one. I like it because he goes foraging and he gets. And I love lobster. And he makes me mouth water every time I see him eating a lobster. He's a bugger. He is. But I enjoy it. I enjoy watching him. Any road, I'm gonna gonna look to be packing up soon. Um, what time is it? It's ten to eleven. Just got now. Them's the last baits coming out. Any road. I'm not putting any more out. Them's the last them. I'm gonna look at packing up now. I'll pack one rod down, and then it's it's looking like home time for me. And then I'll get back to you on the on the shutdown, um, on the shutdown of the of the video. Unless I get a fish. If I get a fish, I'll bring you back in a bit, folks. That's it, folks. Another one over. That's two days. Yesterday was a gruel where he's took it out of me a bit. Um, hard days fishing that was for three fish. I've been here two hours. Come here for nine o'clock. I fished an hour and a half really. And I've had four lovely flounder. All gone back except one. Because that was deep hooked. So Tom had it for his tea. Lovely lad Tom. First time I met him but he's a nice fella. Left me with a bit of lug. Wrap that round me crab and bang, <laughs> straight away, no problem. So that's it for another week, folks. Um, I don't know sure where we're going to go. Oh, sorry, it's a boat trip next week, first one of the year. So hopefully, be some good footage to be seen. Uh, we're going out with Rob Lee on his boat, Merlin. Yeah out of real so hopefully we have the weather for it and then hopefully you'll have some good footage some plenty of fish caught and a few more of the jolly boys will be out on that one anthony harrison pete gabriel you got rob harrison you got glenn you got a lot of us going for a bit of fun so I'll let you go folks, um, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a video, I'm sorry it wasn't the second part of Austin, but if the fish are not there I can't catch them, simple as that, um, it's got, that's why it's called fishing, I'm not catching, you know, it's one of them, so I'll do, like I said, I'll do part two uh, later on, it'll probably be end of May, beginning of June, or even the middle of June before we start getting decent place, big place, heavy place and not spent place. They spent at the moment. These flounders I've had today, all bar one, was spent. They've been spawning, bless them. You know, it's one of them. They, they, they want to gorge now and fill, fill up. So I'll let you go and hope to see you next week on the first boat trip. Cheers, folks. Thanks for watching. Brooks, he's gone.